everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well and doing good now we're gonna look past the outfit situation today it's a sunday it's pissing it down with rain outside and i just didn't want to have to get properly dressed to film a video so we're gonna deal with the big oversized hoodie uh, and the hair which makes me look a lot younger than i am However, today's video, if you can't really tell what the title, is another She In Haul. Um, this is a collaboration, so thank you to Sheen for sending me out these bits. However, I have not actually opened what I've received yet, so this will be a complete like first impressions. I always say this, but Shein never fails to amaze me. They're great for like students, if you're shopping on a budget and stuff like that, um, like myself, which is really great. I also have a discount code for you guys if you fancy anything that you see. If you use the code 15HAN, this will get you 15% off your order. So don't forget to use that. Um, and without further ado, we're going to jump straight in because I have another huge box and I talk a lot. So we could be here sometime. Also, if you aren't already, please do subscribe. Like I say, in the new year or over the next few weeks, I'm going to try my best to upload a bit more. Um, that might be my new year's resolution this year. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we're going to jump straight on into the video. This is a gifted collaboration, so thank you to Shein for that. Um, I literally have no idea where to start because I've got this huge box. Like, I have no idea if you can even see how big that is. Um, I'm going to leave it here, so if you can see it, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm just going to dive it straight in and like pick out from the top and just like go in from the top. Um, I suppose that's the easiest way to do it. So. So I can't remember the exact prices of all of these, however I will make sure I link all of the items down below in case you do want to get anything um, along with the prices and stuff, uh, so it's all easy for you to find. Um, but yeah, so the first item is, oh I know what this is, so I don't actually have a lot of jumpers, um, so I thought let's try and like shop practically for things that I actually need and I'm going to wear. So the first thing I picked up was just this pink I would say it's cropped but like not too cropped it probably comes to like my hip maybe um jump up with these like really nice balloon sleeves i love a good balloon sleeve or a good flare sleeve um and it's just in this really nice dusty pink knitted material and it's ribbed as well which is really nice it's also really soft which i like a lot um because sometimes like jumpers can be really scratchy however this isn't um and it's just got like a little high neck as well um, which is weird for me because I never normally get stuff with high necks because I'm like, oh my god, it never suits me. I've got such a round face. Um, however, I thought I would give this a go because I just really like the sleeves. Like, I don't know if you can see those properly. It, it is a try-on haul, so you'll probably see it better here or here. Wherever I decide to put the clip, you will see it better on me. Um, but yeah, that is the first thing I picked up. And I got that in a size small, which I believe was the smallest size they did. And it is slightly oversized, but like, it fits nicely, if that makes sense. Like, it's not too oversized. Um, so that is item number one. Item number two. Oh, what's this? I know what this is. Okay. So we all know how much I love a good jacket and it wouldn't be a haul from me if I didn't pick up a jacket. So here it is. Um, I picked up this really lovely pink jacket. I'm obsessed with this. It's so nice. Yeah, it's just a plain pink jacket. It's got a little pockets. Yeah got two sets of pockets and it's just in this really lovely pink colour. I thought this was a bit different because I've seen a lot of like nude beige kind of jackets around this year. However, I haven't seen many coloured ones so I thought this was a nice addition to my wardrobe. It isn't very thick, it feels quite thin so like you would need to layer up underneath it um, because it just wouldn't keep you warm basically. Um, but yeah, really like this. I'm excited to style this. Um, it's just a really basic jacket which I think will go with a lot of things and um, I picked this up in a size extra small and this fits perfectly number three so next up we have oh wow this is really creased <laughs> this it, I feel like I'm gonna need to iron it for you to really properly see it because it's gonna not look great when I hold it up it's so crinkled um, but it's basically just this what color would you call this like dark beige goldy kind of colour um, shirt dress with like ruffles down the front. I love this. When I saw it on the model I was like that's going to look so nice with a pair of like heeled boots, maybe some spotty ties and like a big oversized teddy coat. That was sort of what I had in my mind. Um, but yeah, just a plain shirt dress with like ruffles down the front. I really like this um, and it feels really soft as well. However, like I say, holding up like this really doesn't know justice because it's so crinkled. So I'm going to have to give it a good iron before I try it on. Um, I picked this up in a size small and hopefully that fits well. <laughs> I guess we'll see in a minute won't we? The next thing I picked, oh I picked up another dress. You wouldn't think that this was a winter haul, I just love a good dress and like tights and boots. But basically I picked up, let's put it together, 
picked up this really cute spotty dungaree dress which I'm obsessed with I think it's so cute with like a little white uh, long sleeve top underneath um, and some and some Doc Martens gonna look so cool I really love this the only thing it is I thought it was gonna be like a denim material and it's not it's more like a I don't know, kind of like a bit of a stretchy material. I mean, I'm sure it will look fine when it's on, um, but I just wasn't expecting it to be this material. However, it's really cute. Uh, it might make me look a bit like a five-year-old, so I'm going to have to take my plaits out <laughs> when I try this on. Um, yeah, I really like this, and I'm very excited to wear it. Like I said, I think it could look really cool with some Doc Martens. Uh, again, I picked this up in a... What size did I get it in? Pick this up in a size extra small. I mean, it looks like it'll fit. It's a dungaree dress, so I can't see it not fitting. Um, but yeah, that is item number four. Just a simple dungaree dress. Again, don't really own anything like that, so I thought it'd be a cute little addition to my winter wardrobe. Okay, so the next item. I'm still on the fence about how I feel about these. I think the correct name for them is an arm warmer. Uh, however, I just I want to be able to look really cool in them. I just don't think I am going to look really cool in it. But we can try. Um, so yeah, I picked up this roll neck. I don't even know how to show you this to be completely honest with you. Roll neck arm warmer from them, which actually feels really nice and soft. Um, so I literally have no idea how to show you this, but basically it goes on like this and your arms go in it. Um, and I've seen it so many like fashiony people on my Instagram style this and look really cool in it. And I'm like, oh, let's try and style it. Not sure how well it's going to go, but yeah, it's just in this beige kind of colour. It's a really thick material actually. It's like a beige ribbed knit, quite stretchy and yeah, pretty thick, which we like. I feel like if it was an actual jumper it would keep you a lot warmer, however. Let me know what you think about these because I would love to know. I think a lot of people are on the fence about them. Don't know how I feel about it. Um, and this was just one size. One size fits all. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of these guys and let me know if you have one. Like how, how do you wear it? How do you style it? Because pretty sure I'm gonna need some tips. <laughs> okay, so the next item, <laughs> bit of a weird one. What is some more loungewear or pyjamas? Um, so I just picked up these little reindeer pyjamas, which I thought were really cute and Christmassy. Um, and they're just like long sleeved and a pair of shorts to go with them, just with Rudolph on. I thought these were really cute. However, these look massive. Do we think these are gonna fit me? I don't know, what size do I get it in? got these in a size small however they look a little bit big um however i'm sure it'll be fine they're just pajamas but yeah not much to say about these also not going to try them on because i think it's really weird trying on like pajamas in a haul um however just picked up these christmas pajamas i don't actually own any christmas pajamas so i thought it was about time that i added some to my wardrobe um also i somehow managed to leave all of my pajamas at university and not bring any home with me i say somehow i'm just very forgetful and clearly forgot to pack them so I'm glad that these arrived because I've just literally been sleeping in oversized t-shirts. <laughs> so, oh, I know what this is. I'm really excited for this. I think it might be my Christmas day dress. We'll have to see. But this is another dress, which this print and the cup just gives me major 60s vibes. Like, I love it. Um, so it's just this, like, straight dress. And it's got, like, a little peplum ruffly type thing at the bottom which I absolutely love and it's also got the same like and it's got like a ruched detailing at the sleeves which I also thought was really cute um, and it just does up at the front but yeah I'm getting like major 60s vibes chuck a red lip on with this gonna look so cool I just hope it fits because it's one of those dresses that doesn't actually have a lot of shape to it um, so I'm hoping it will look okay on but I picked this up in a size extra small um, I'm gonna say it's probably pretty true to size but I also love the print like I don't know what it is about it but I'm not normally one for monochrome prints or monochrome clothes in general to be honest with you um, but I really like this I thought it was a very cute and like I say it might be my Christmas day outfit who knows next oh, I don't know what these are my mum is gonna love these so these aren't everyone's cup of tea. Comes with a belt. Um, so yeah, these aren't going to be everyone's cup of tea. But I picked up some corduroy culottes. Now, I don't actually think I've worn cord since I was like five years old. And my mum like dressed me in cord. Um, and it wasn't wasn't a great look. wasn't a great time. However, I saw these on the model and she looked really cool. And I was like, mm, am I cool enough? Don't know, but let's try it anyway. So I picked these up. I love them and I really do hope they fit. I've got them in a size extra small, I think. Yeah, extra small because obviously they're like wide leg um, culottes. I thought an extra small is probably going to be best. 
um but i love them and i really hope i can pull them off i was thinking either with like do you know what they actually might look quite cool with my doc martin monkey boots I, I mean i was envisioning it with like either trainers or heeled boots but i'm thinking my doc martin monkey boots which unfortunately are in leicester at the moment that might look quite cool and like a jacket very excited to style these um it's a really nice material as well i feel like she and it's really reasonably priced and the material is actually really good like you know sometimes you get on to like the cheaper kind of websites like boohoo and pretty thing sometimes you don't know what sort of quality you're getting but i feel like she and you, you're always gonna get good quality um like the materials are really nice which is good so yeah this one i'm really excited as well for because again it gives me kind of 60s vibes um but it's just this tweed checkered skirt which again looks a little bit big um so i may need to take that in but i really liked the little like ruching detail I'm not sure how i feel about like the little pearl buttons but i just like the ruching detail and i thought this would look really cute with like i say heeled boots and a plain top and i've also got a jacket which i um showed in my last sheen haul which pretty much matches this print uh, so this print pretty much matches this fabric um so i thought that would look really cute like together as a set not sure if it will um again that's in leicester i didn't bring that home with me um but yeah so it's just like a beigey kind of color i feel like there's a very beige and pink theme throughout this haul um and it's just got like a flex of burnt orange i would say going throughout it but yeah cute little mini skirt which again i thought would just be very easy to style i picked this up in a size small again um they don't seem to do extra smalls in skirts which is really annoying because i need an extra small <laughs> um but hopefully that'll fit if not i'll just pop some like darts on it this is the last clothing item and it's just a really basic wrap front spotty top i thought in my head i thought this with the um pink clots would look really nice together um so i just picked this up just long sleeved pretty basic again it would be really easy to style because it's just like black and white um and yeah i picked this up in a extra small again um and yeah i have a white one of these from pretty little thing and i wear it all the time because it's just so easy to wear uh, and now i have a sporty one which is nice but yeah in my head i thought this with the um clots would be a cute outfit so we are on to the last thing i feel like we've whizzed through this haul which never happens because i talk so much um but yeah on to the last thing which is a pair of boots again wouldn't be a hannah haul without boots thrown in somewhere um and these oh my goodness i cannot tell you how much i love them so we know how i feel about boots so i don't need to you know tell you guys how much i love them and we know how i feel about knee high boots and look at these i mean do i even need to say anything they're freaking gorgeous i am obsessed they're just these like croc material not crocs in the shoe like crocodile material um pleather boots which i need to stand up because they're flopping about all over the place um but i'm fully obsessed with these they are so nice again giving me major 60s but oh my god think of this with the um, black and white dress i'm here for that look um but yeah just these heeled pointed toe boots i'm so excited to wear these i showed my mum these because i did get these out this was the thing i was most excited for and she was like oh my goodness um yeah i think that heel looks kind of high but it actually isn't that bad i've walked in them fine um i was like strutting around the house in my pajamas and like knee high boots and a tuesday morning that was fun um but yeah picked those up as well and that's the last thing i picked up and possibly the thing which i'm most excited to wear i feel like they're very out there again not everyone's cup of tea which is fine um but yeah i'm very excited to wear those one thing i would say is if you're going to buy um shoes from shein is to size up like half a size because the very first time that i worked with shein i picked up a couple of pairs of shoes and i picked them up my normal size which was a five um however they were like too a little bit too tight so i would say size up and get like a half size bigger so i, I bought these in a five and a half instead of five and they fit perfectly this is the last thing we have whizzed through this i'm impressed um but yeah i hope you have enjoyed seeing what i picked out from the shein website like i say i will leave all of the links down below with the prices as well so you guys if you fancy anything can pick it up um please do make sure that you subscribe like comment and all that fun stuff I'm gonna try my best to upload more frequently um but i say this every time <laughs> i think i might be like vlogging over the next few weeks as well or i'm gonna try to um but yeah hope you have enjoyed the video please do give it a big thumbs up also make sure you head on over to my instagram where you'll be able to see how i sell these better um 
as like I say I post daily outfit pics over there so yeah I think that's everything I want to say thank you guys for watching and thank you if you got it this far because I know I can ramble a lot when I'm talking about clothes um but yeah hopefully I will see you all in my next video